live with Miles Jackson. Uh, you can call me Miles. I'm from Harrodsburg originally. Uh, lived in Richmond for a little bit when I went to college. Uh, I got my degree in music performance. I currently work with uh, with a child psychologist, Susan Turner. Uh, work with special needs kids, getting them out into the community, developing social skills. And I work at a grocery store. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Well, uh, I identify I'm a gay man. I'm a cisgendered, which means that I identify as male. I'm male presenting. I wear, you know, male clothes. I... Yeah, I don't. If you're, if you're, uh, you know, dividing gender into male and female, I'm, I'm more male. But you know, there's, you know, there's trans people. There's, uh, there's cisgendered women. You know, and it, it's all a spectrum. And that's just where I fall. It's, uh, okay. Yeah, gay man, cisgendered, and I've, I've got, I've got friends that they, they, there's, they call themselves non-binary. You know, you know, that's the term they use. And uh, they don't necessarily conform to either gender. They, you know, they might, you know, dress more male presenting one day or more female presenting the next. And they don't necessarily, you know, they don't conform to either male or female. So they're non-binary. I uh, went to Mercer County High School. I uh, was in the Mercer County school system the entire time I went to school. Mm -hmm. um, I... Uh, you know, I was in theater, I was in band, I was into all the things that, you know, you would think a little gay boy would be into. <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, I, and I, I knew I was gay for, since I was really young. Yeah, like, as, as soon as I, like, you know, started having feelings, I had, I had feelings towards men, gotcha. you know. And uh, I never really felt that way about women. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, women to me are more like, I don't know, they're like creatures of beauty. I don't know. So, <laughs> yeah. But um, so uh, I, I knew I was gay when I was really young and I, and I actually came out to like my friends and my peers when I was young. I was not even in high school yet. I was like end of my eighth grade year. I was I had come out to a few friends and then by ninth grade it was like. You know, you know how kids are, you know, sure, news sure. travels fast. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so uh, I was I was out pretty early, but I never really came out to my parents until I was in college. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you think they had an idea? Oh, oh absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> because, uh, you know, I, I wasn't I wasn't necessarily trying to hide it, but it was never like explicitly stated, you know, until I was in college. And that kind of comes from like my upbringing with my parents. Like both of my parents were active in the Catholic Church, mm -hmm. you know, and, you know, I have nothing but love for my parents. Sure. But, you know, they grew up in a time when it wasn't so accepted. Mm -hmm. They, they grew up in a family where it wasn't so accepted. And, you know, having having a gay kid, it it changes your perspective on sure. things. So I think, you know, we've we've all grown, we've all learned and and I mean now we're we're a big happy family. We're all accepting and loving of each other and you know, my my parents they have their religion, I have mine and we have our our views and we, we still love each other. There's still love there. Uh, so you remember Laura, Laura Vineyard. Uh -huh. uh, it, she was with me, and then my partner Greg was with me. And uh, I got I gathered everybody in the kitchen. You know, I'm, I, I think I've, like, made a meal for them or something like that. And I was like, okay, so um, Greg's not just my friend. He's my boyfriend. And, uh, and you... I mean, the, the reaction was not stunned in the least. <laughs> they were pretty much like, Miles, we know, gotcha. we know. Yeah. And uh, I, I, was, I was really emotional at the time, but looking back, like, there wasn't much of a necessity, like a need for that, because I, I had the love. I knew it was there, and it's, it's coming out, I mean, at least for my experience, I know it's different with everybody because everybody comes from different backgrounds. But mm -hmm. if if you know if I'm talking to anybody that's like ha has similar experiences with me, it's I, I just think it's best to just you know come out 
get it over with and you know the people who the people who care about it they don't really matter and the people who matter don't care so gotcha. yeah it's like when i knew i was gonna do it when i knew i was gonna like go out and be like mom dad i'm gay that's I mean, because I'm just because I come from that religious background where like, you know, I grew up in the church and a lot of times I heard, you know, like, uh, you know, gay people are like if gay people who want to get married. This is the big one. Gay people who want to get married. They want they don't want marriage for their own personal reasons. They want to, like, destroy the sanctity of marriage between a marriage and a woman, uh, between a man and a woman. And. And I've I heard that and similar things all throughout my life in the church, yeah. which, you know, it's 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 a little traumatic. And going up, growing up, hearing things like that from people who, I mean, not necessarily from my parents, but from peers of my parents, like my friends, my parents' social circles and stuff. Like hearing it from them, it kind of scarred me and made me think that coming out to my parents was going to be a bigger issue than it actually was. Uh, I definitely had, because I mean, I did come out pretty early. Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, that, you know, opened the floodgates for bullying. And, and I had, I had a few people who would not constantly bully me, but you know, I, I always knew that the, the feeling was there, but I mean, also, it was I was privileged enough to be a big guy, <laughs> so not a lot of people mess with me. But I, I definitely, you know, it's it's not so much the bullying that got to me; it was more like the, the the negative feelings or like yeah. the negative, like oh, he's gay. Oh, okay. Well, then we won't talk to him at all, or we'll we'll neglect him to to hang out with our straight friends or something like that. Yeah. I have my tribe for sure. There's there's people that I grew up with who will always be friends, will always be there for me. And then there's, there's those who weren't. And, and I, can tr I can get hung up on that. I can be like, oh, I want them to like me. Or I can just live my life as me yeah, yeah. and do my own thing and just try to, try to see, see the good in everybody as best as I can. It's tough sometimes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know it. I know it. Or whatever. <laughs> right. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, the first thing that comes to mind is like expression, like uh, because, you know, like straight culture, straight, uh, you know, clothing, activities, music, hobbies, anything like that, like uh, media and and everything is, is geared towards straight people. Like, you know, we, we grew up learning like Romeo and Juliet. That's mm. the classic love story. Always, it's always between a man and a woman. And I think here recently we've been, you know, discovering and going towards, you know, a more inclusive media structure. But I think, you know, uh, just uh, as far as what, like, straight people can do in central Kentucky, mm -hmm. it's just being more inclusive, um, like, letting gay youth gay, lesbian, bi, you know, LGBTQ youth, uh, know that they're, they're welcome at the table. Yeah. We can do all these things to include everybody, but really the main thing is just to be tolerant and be understanding and, and just love unconditionally. Yeah. Are you and Greg, do you feel comfortable holding hands walking down the street? In certain, it just depends where we are. Like if I'm in Lexington, I feel a little bit more open, but sure. like if I'm on Main Street in Harrodsburg, it's a little more like, yeah. oh, who who do I know around here that's going to, like, I mean, it's, and I'm not even worried about, like, people saying anything about me or gossiping about sure, me. Sure. But it's just, like, what's it going to turn into? It's really interesting to, like, see culturally where we are in central Kentucky as opposed to, like, other parts of the world. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, really the only way to change any anything is to, have more representation to, you know, get, have, make, make LGBT, LGBTQ people feel more included. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Your Catholic upbringing. Uh-huh. And, uh, and then growing up in the church, do you currently have any religious affiliations? I would say I'm, I'm spiritual. Like, I pray, mm -hmm. but I don't necessarily know who I'm praying to. Sure. Um, uh, 
my my kind of ideal my ideology is like you know i think that there is a higher purpose a higher meaning mm. there's something else out there but i'm not necessarily sure that anybody or any religion has gotten it right homosexuality and, and in a political sense isn't necessarily like a religious problem it's it's a it's a mindset problem like it's a it's a psychological issue that you know people are brought up to believe a certain thing a certain way so then they teach their kids that and it if it's if it's toxic or harmful to other people it's 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 justified in their mind because it's for a higher purpose i got you so would you feel welcome if you went into a christian church right now you and greg uh depends on the church yeah. because i've i've felt very welcome in certain churches and not so welcome in other churches sure. um because i mean it is like a general mindset of that church mm -hmm. because i mean you could have two two baptist churches one is love is loving and accepting and one is more you know like they push people away and yeah. you know judge people and and i mean no if, like obviously there's there's good and bad and Every religion, every every walk of life, even there's good gays, there's bad gays, there's yeah. So I mean, it, it's uh, I'm not I'm not, I wouldn't feel uncomfortable going into a church um, until I was made to feel uncomfortable. I got you. I mean, all I can do is live my truth, yeah. and I can try to to show them, you know. I'm I'm a gay person, I'm, but I'm also a good person. Yeah. You know, like uh, I I love my my fiance Greg, and I share a love with him that I don't think that I could share with a woman. Mm -hmm. And that's that's just my brain. That's my genetics. That's my yeah. That's how I'm wired. We're 19. You say yeah. fiance. When are you guys getting mm -hmm. married? Ooh, we're we're kind of strapped for cash right now. Gotcha. So okay. and I, we do want to have like a, a a wedding wedding. Okay. But we've kind of like tossed around the idea because I mean you know like with the political climate right now it doesn't seem like you know so everything is set there. in stone. Yeah. So we've tossed around the idea of maybe like getting married and then like having a reception like a, an actual ceremony later. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, it just depends on when we can, you know, find a venue, find a, a, a catering company, find everything that goes into a wedding, oh, wedding. in our oh. within our budget. Yeah. You got a Venmo thing you want to throw out here? Yeah, hey, uh, <laughs> <laughs> just being milesy. Yeah, <laughs> That's there you go. <laughs> I'll put a little scroll at the bottom. There we go. Know, donations too. Yeah, and then, uh, you know, marriage equality is, is up in the air now. And yeah. we've got a, a a lady coming in who is staunchly against it. Yeah. Like I said, all I can do is be me. Yeah. So whether or not the American government decides it's okay for me to be me or not, I'm still going to be me. How do you see the LGBTQ community moving forward? And I'm speaking of our area. Uh-huh. Um, what, what actions do you think would help the, the community move forward with uh with uh well uh, like acceptance and whatnot um i would say you know uh, i would tell you know hum heterosexual people people who do you know like cisgendered people people mm -hmm. who conform to the binary or whatever they should if, if they're willing to you know let it be known that they are want they want to be inclusive and Vote, <laughs> yeah, yeah. vote. Yeah, yeah. Keep being our on our authentic selves. Yeah. You know, don't don't let the people who are trying like putting you down, getting in your face every day. You know, mm -hmm. you gotta you gotta stick to these standards or else you know you're going to hell or <laughs> something like that. Yeah. So, just you know, keep being yourself, live your truth, and uh, just. Hope for the best, you know. Always yeah. keep working, working towards tomorrow. Uh, what resources are available uh, that they can turn to to kind of help them work through, uh, you know, finding themselves 
around here, there's not much. Mm-hmm. You know, there are organizations that you can turn to. There's like a Glad, the the Trevor Project. There's there's a bunch. Of, I mean, but that those are more like you know national organizations that can you know feel impersonal. So I think for the best thing for people who are wanting to come out or who are who are having troubles, you know, navigating through a, a heterosexual co- culture mm-hmm. is, you know, uh, find find a group that you connect with and just share your stories with each other and with the people around you. Because, um, I mean, uh, nothing's going to happen until we make our voice heard. Sure, yeah. it, it's, it could be as simple as, you know, typing in, gay youth of Kentucky into fa- into the Facebook search bar. Sure. There's probably a group like that. Yeah. There's, uh, there's, there's, in fact, I'm almost certain there's groups <laughs> like that. Yeah. Um, I, I, I haven't really taken advantage of those groups before. I mean, I, I was in a fraternity in college and mm-hmm. we have our own like LGBTQ community within our fraternity okay. and where we have a Facebook group like that. Um, so I mean it's 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 not only about finding other you know gay people it's about finding gay people that think like you That's you know? true yeah so yeah, yeah. I just uh you know keep figuring I would say my advice for people who were in a small town you know who were struggling with their sexuality uh is to just you know discover discover who you are for yourself mm-hmm and then share it, share it with the world. I'm I'm happy to get to do this. I'm happy to, you know, talk to whoever I'm talking to, you know, any any gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender youth. Um, I just want you to know, you know, we're here and we can make a difference together. We just gotta make our voices heard. (laughs) 